happens outside, men and women, all witnessing you. You're not supposed to cry because brave women don't cry. I avoided the ceremony as far as I could. When I knew that it was going to happen, I had to face my dad and say, I would only go through the cutting if he lets me go back to school. If not, I'm going to run away. I knew that once I go through the cutting, I am going to be married off and my dream of becoming a teacher was going to end. It was done in the morning using a very old rusty knife with no anesthesia. I can never forget that day. I wanted my freedom, but when I reached the U.S., I realized that I needed to help my sisters. Hello, how are you, class? Yeah, when girls start at our school, they're very shy, but over time, we see them very confident. What is climate? It's the most exciting thing. They are doing very well. Fathers are now saying, my daughter could do better than my son. It's still quite difficult to push for change here. Men still control almost everything. She's able to convince people about ideas that she has. She has very powerful words. Our work is more than education. All of you had a good holiday? Yes. Nobody got married? <laughs> it's about empowerment so that they can make the decisions for their lives. <laughs> These girls are saying no to being cut. They're so determined. They want to be a different generation of girls. Why should you work hard to achieve your goals? And what are your goals? Pilot, a doctor, president. Education has enabled me to become who I am. I came back so girls in my community don't have to negotiate like I did to achieve their dreams. The change is happening. That's why I wake up every morning. <laughs>